was focused on the Lordship of Arklow. Um, it was done, as I say, 20 years ago, when I think I was a lot more optimistic about things like the transfer of um, boundaries from uh, the medieval to the modern period. So, um, there is, in certain parts of Ireland, it is fairly clear that the um, medieval parish system is a direct reflection of the manners which are established in the wake of the Norman invasion. And in theory, these medieval parishes eventually morph into the civil parishes of, for example, the first edition Ordnance Survey Maps. Um, and when I tried, when I was working in Arklow, what I did was to map out individual uh, uh, parishes, so for example, the parish of Arklow itself, and then to try to map within that the various monuments <coughs> which we associate with Norman expansion and Norman control. Um, I'm not completely certain that sort of I would be quite as optimistic and quite as confident about this process, process now, um, but it is an interesting way of looking at and thinking about the landscape and thinking about how you think things uh, blend in. Um, Arklo was granted by King John, who technically, as far as I uh, possibly should not have had the power to grant it, um, to Theobald Walter, uh, but the Butler of Ireland. I suspect around about 1187, the, 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 the grant is actually um, signed in, uh, in England, I think quite soon after John's return. It began as a single night's fee, but the, um, the butlers actually spend a large chunk of the 13th and 14th century to expanding their power and expanding out from the original night's fee um, and expanding to the west and also to the north, into Enoraile eventually in the, the early 14th century, consciously building their, 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 their power centre. Their initial reaction is less positive though, and I think um, we have a tendency when we think about Norman settlement to assume that settlement is going to be successful, to assume that lords are eager to take on and exploit the new lands. In actual fact, the very first thing which Walter did, and one of the first things which he did when he got this land, was actually to grant it away. Um, in a charter which I managed to locate as part of my research, dating from around about um, 1200, possibly earlier, um, it, uh, Walter granted his entire domain at Arklo to a group of monks who, according to the charter, had left the monastery of Furness, which is just here. Uh, we know that there were a group of Cistercian monks at a site called uh, Wiresdale, uh, which is down here in Lancashire, uh, and actually was on the lands of um, the, the Walter family. Um, and that monastery seems to have been struggling quite badly to kind of make ends meet and to successfully establish a, a daughter house of Furness. Um, these, it's almost certainly these monks who then moved to Arklow, and remarkably they failed to establish themselves at Arklow either. Uh, and, it's, oh, and, and it is only when uh, Walter eventually grants them a larger block of land at Abingdon or Wongi that, uh, in Limerick that they finally managed to establish a successful um, monastic, uh, monastic house. The, um, why, we're not certain why the this, Cistercians this failed to establish themselves at, at, at Arklow. Um, one of the reasons may have been the fact that there was actually quite a lot going on in the area already. Um, this is, a borough had been established at Arklo according to the charter around about 1200. And that's, the, that's about 150 years earlier than we previously had records for. Um, the late great John Bradley, as part of the urban survey, said that reckoned that there could have been about 110 burgage plots which would point to a population of about 500 or 550 in the, uh, at the settlement. We know nothing about how the settlement was governed except for a remarkable document from 1571, uh, a petition by the, the, the men of Arklow uh, to the, the, the butlers in which they asked for all their ancient rights to be restored. Um, they asked for the right to have their own port reef or, or a mayor, if you will, and the right to hold a weekly market, something which they um, had clearly held in the medieval period, but which had lapsed some considerable time uh, before. Um, this establishment of towns is a key part of the Norman, uh, Norman settlement in, in Ireland. 
Uh, Bradley reckoned 56 new towns were established or promoted as part of the Norman invasion, with our club being one of them and the firms being another. 